Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Chestnut Evo vs Ark 4. So I just paid for it. They say it's the smartest and all the benchmarks suggest that so far now by the time I release this video, you could have the next version of GPT, GPT-5 or Gemini 3 has been seen in the wild or people are suggesting. So we'll see about those. But so far, this is supposed to be the smartest one yet. So I'm going to play a chess game with it. This Chestnut Evo lets you play against all kinds of engines, including the Stockfish, Lila Chess, Zero and Maya. You can even train your own engine. I can train my engines here, see custom engines, default engines, track of all the games that you've done in the past. You can set up positions. Again, it's very easy if I go here and say I want a custom position. And if I pick this piece up, it disappears. So it's very simple. I'm going to play it at max level against Grok, see how long it lasts. Now, keep in mind, Grok seems to have some sort of limit. I think it's 20 questions every two hours right now. I'm sure they increased it, but I'll try to go as long as possible. I'm going with a stockfish. I'm giving it five seconds per move. Here, I'm just gonna go and tell it to play chess. Let's see. I go E4. C7, C5. So we'll play Sicilian here. Start evaluation here. So you have this bar that tells you how well it's doing. It is a little bit slower. That's expected. Everything I've read, Grog 4 is a little bit slower than the other ones because it's supposed to be a smarter. Especially now, this is not the most advanced one. It's just 300 bucks a month. This is just the 30 dollar one. This is just a 30 dollar one. The way it's going, it's very likely that I'm going to hit the limit very soon. But usually, based on my experience, the older ones don't go past 13 moves without making an illegal move. Let's see if this one can go further. What's happening here is actually searching for the best move, which is something that the other ones did not do. They were trying to respond based on what they had. This is actually looking for moves to play. Now, obviously, it can't do this forever because at some point it's going to run out. So we'll see. It's browsing leechess.org. Now, it failed, but this just shows you how the tool use, which, which XAI talked about during their presentation, is working. So it's using these tools to make better decisions. Searching for the best move. This is considerably slower than the other ones, which I think maybe helps it play test. We're not treating this like an engine that you should use for analysis, it's just to test to see how smart it is. And so far, I think it's smarter because it's actually putting an effort into finding the best move and searching and using every tool available. It shows the potential for these AI tools. I don't think you should use Grok 4 for chess. I just think if it's spending this much time and this much effort into finding the best move. Now imagine if you give it a business problem or a math problem, obviously it solves all the math problems when you've seen that it scores 100%, the heavy Grok version. But even this one is just putting a lot of effort into getting a simple move right. The other ones were just throwing out moves. Sometimes it was accurate, sometimes it wasn't accurate. Sometimes it was giving a piece, sometimes it wasn't. Now we'll see how this turns out. Maybe it can complete it. Maybe I'll hit the 20 limit and stop there. But I'm just fascinated by the fact that it seems to work much harder than the previous ones that I've used thinking models in the past. I've used O3, I've used Gemini 2.5 Pro thinking and Quen and Deep Sea. First instinct was that E5 wasn't allowed, but then it double checked. Previous models would just tell you that it's illegal if I had to correct them.
Gronk is again making the phone call in like one of those TV shows. It's trying to look up the best move. Now, I don't mind it, but this is not going to last all the time. At some point, you're going to hit an original position. So at some point, it has to play a move. We ran some code. It thinks NF5 is the best move. and finds other moves that it thinks have a zero value. It has been a long time actually thinking. It's been such a long time. We can see I've spent 24, 25 minutes in just a bunch of moves. So Rock 4 is not really as fast as the other ones. But then again, it doesn't make those mistakes because it's constantly checking. After 839 seconds, you can do the math. See, it's a lot of minutes there. Play NF5. So we go NF5. And it's already a bad move. It thought that it would be zero, zero, zero. It's point one, it's point one negative twelve, negative point twelve. So it's not that bad. It's not like losing everything. It's not like dropping a piece or anything. I don't think it's the position that troubles black over the long run, especially a stockfish likes these positions. It's not a problem for it. So it is thinking. I'm assuming it's gonna take another 10 minutes. Only move really. D8, D1, check. So I just wonder if it's going to use that, then it's going to be very strong. Now it's gonna take forever to finish because it's gonna go through all of these. But it also means that it's not going to make all the mistakes that the other models made because they were not checking all these different resources. So this is the move it went with. G8, F6. So again, it goes back. C8, E6. Just gonna give it that. So here I think I made a mistake. I don't think D5 was a capture, which is a regular move. Let's see if it gets confused enough to mess it up. It's already over anyway. It's already losing. You can see the evaluation is negative 4.3. It's probably worse if you give it even more depth. F8, E7. It wants to go there. Castle as well, since so this is the move that it's going to make. It's going to lose both pieces. Get a check. D eight, D five. You take that and then you take the other one to get to this position, which is down a piece already. Position is negative five. To get to this position, I have to spend about 132 minutes on Grok. And again, it's not something you want to play chess with. I think the only positive thing is, unlike other large language models, this actually remembers the position. This is the first one I've seen. The other ones all pretty much lose track of the position and start making illegal moves thinking it is thinking about making illegal moves but then it double checks that's about it this is the last move that i'm gonna make it's pointless because you're gonna take that and this is pretty much over it now wants to take this piece we are here we are stock which is going to win this easily 
but it's impressive because unlike other models that I've covered, Grok doesn't make mistakes. It doesn't make illegal moves, at least not in the first seven. In the other ones, by move 13, I had to enter the moves again and again, keep arguing with the model that the moves that it was making were mistakes. For more information, please go to gadgetify.com, also youtube.com at gadgetify. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I also have a coupon, it's gadgetify, that gives you a discount on this board. I'm going to include a link in the description and comments to where you can get this. Thanks for watching.